How do you feel right now? Feel good. So just, I mean, I think you popped up as a surprise last week on the injury report, and then you go play. What was going on last week? Like, what, what happened? Just, you know, Coach thought it was, you know, my, in, his, in our team's best interest, you know, me not play last week to, you know, make it even worse. So just, you know, set me down last week and be ready for this week. Did it happen during the, did you feel something during the game against Cleveland? Is that when something happened? or did nah. you? Personally, you know, I'm not going to speak too much about my injuries. Yeah. You feel like you're so, good to go this week, though? Mm -hmm. What was, um, since uh, you're not um, speaking on the injury, what was it like? How did you test it today? And uh, what was it like being back out there to practice today? I mean, it was like any other day. Just going out there practicing, you know, some day at work, and just, you know, felt pretty good. And uh, he said you're going to go through the week. What's your mindset as you try to, you know, make it back to the field? It's, it's the same as it every week to, you know, win each day and, and you know, prepare for Sunday. Uh, what, uh, uh, what did you see in the final? They're hurt. I just listened to Coach Shanahan and got a lot of different people in and out. But what, what do you make of the 49ers defense as you all are studying that? It's a physical team uh, on all three phases. Uh, defense plays physical, um, pretty vague. So, you know, it's going to be a physical game and it's up to us to, you know, show us the more physical team. How tough was it to you know you know watch last week for you? It was it was very tough uh, sitting at home and that was my, I think it was yeah my first game so it, was, mm -hmm. it was just was like it didn't feel right but uh you know I just got back right and ready for this week. And when, when you're coming off a hamstring, I, I know um, some of the guys are like you know you know it's a it's a tough one you gotta kind of watch it uh, you know do you try to kind of hold back and make sure you don't. You know, pop do something else to it, or you know, how do you try to approach coming back from you know this type of injury? Um, just day by day, doing doing my part, getting the right treatment, and take care of my body. I don't really, you know, think of the negative things to that may you know trigger. So just going out there playing ball. So what was that like watching for you at home? Like, <laughs> I mean, Put me just sitting there. Uh, I mean, I, I I could see it from a different standpoint, but uh, for the main part, it was it sucked. But yeah, uh, it, it was it was fun. Uh, I definitely miss the guys. I'm happy to be back. And you sit there like what? screaming at the TV. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, well, I know. I'm very curious, like how this goes for Kyle Pitts in a situation like this. I did. I, I screamed a couple times, <laughs> but uh, that's football. That's probably every fan who screams. But yeah, I, I felt like a fan, and it was it was, it was pretty different to see from their perspective. Did you throw something at the uh, TV during no, the No, no, definitely didn't throw anything. That, that, that was one of my screams. That was one of my screams. <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't so throw anything. Didn't throw at, no, okay. no, that TV, that the TV, TV is, costume. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, how do you think you and Marcus have meshed so far? Um, I, I feel like we're doing pretty well. Um, it's a long season. Uh, we're in what, game five or six. It's a long season to go, like I said, and it's just you know, a lot of more reps and our relationship will keep growing. What do you think he's brought to this team? A lot. You know, I, I can't you know pinpoint one specific thing, but his leadership is one thing that stands out, and he just rallies the guys up and always makes sure everybody's you know on the up and up and not getting down on ourselves. You you mentioned obviously you saw it from a different perspective last week. Did you maybe pick up some things of like oh wow okay teams actually maybe are doing this from watching it on, in a different vantage point? Um, you can't really slow it down because it's you know it's constantly going on from the. Uh, public perspective. But I mean, yeah, it's a little different, you know, seeing different defenses on the screen rather than in person because you could, you know, spit it out a little faster. But you know, it was kind of the same. Um, you know, we got to give it to them. But, you know, we'll be ready next time. I meant more for you personally and just kind of how your season's going and trying to figure out getting separation, getting open. If you, if everything's like, oh, wow, I see this differently now because it's not me running it. That's oh, I, I got what you're saying. Um, no, I wasn't, I wasn't really, you know, watching it, you know, thinking, you know, what, what, have out got open. I was just, you know, watching other guys get open and, you know, wishing the best for them. After going to those uh, those those tight end camps, uh, you've worked with 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 uh, George uh, Kittle a, a little bit. He's had some really nice things to say about you. Like, what have those interactions been like, and how do you think he is uh, as a tight end? Obviously, um, yeah. George is obviously, you know, what he is. He's, you know, one of the greats, and in my opinion, he's, you know, one of the best tight ends right now in the game. Um, I love watching his film and. He plays hard, fast, physical, and aggressive. So he does everything, blocks, catches, and you know he's, he's very vibrant. Uh, you know, that makes plays like that. We, we definitely got to account for him. Uh, it would be disrespectful if we didn't. But, you know, we got a pretty good game plan moving forward. How are you guys feeling heading into this one? You know, the chance to get back to 500. Five, five games, five really, really close games. Uh, yeah, uh, we 
you know, we put those games in the past and we really just ready to, you know, go out there and work and, you know, continue to push forward, you know, finally break through that wall that we've been talking about. A lot of fans, you know, obviously after last week talking about Grady and the penalty and stuff, that's in the past, but do you guys kind of, are there any teaching points on that, something to do or to not do, given how they're throwing flags? Not just there, but they have it in Monday night too. Um, honestly, when it, you know, speaking on Grady's penalty, I don't think there's really any teaching points that we can run off of. I feel like we just got to keep continue to play hard, continue to, you know, be in a position to make plays like that, and you know, just keep pushing forward. Obviously, you know, you're reacting in that situation, right? Like you get to the quarterback, it's just get him on the ground. But yeah. is there anything that crosses your mind to make sure you don't get flagged? Um, can't hit him too hard. That's probably the number one. Don't touch him around the head, uh, and don't dive low. You know, below the knees, trying to. Hit them in, you know, in the strike zone. Uh, that's something that we teach every day. So we're going to continue to move forward with that. Last thing is super off topic. I want to ask you about. Are you a baseball fan? Have you been paying attention to the Braves? I know a lot of folks in town watching uh, watching this playoff series, and they're hoping for a whole bunch more. Yeah, I'm really not that big of a Braves fan, okay. but I definitely have been to a couple games, and uh, they got a heck of a team as always. Who's your team? Astros, man. One? Used to be the Astros, but I'm not really that big of a baseball fan. Fair enough. But that's the one team I did watch. I got you. I figured it was a Texas challenge. Yeah. Appreciate it, TQ. No problem. Thanks, man.